create studio reviews here. Um, in this video, I just wanted to address something that I think almost every single professional in digital marketing is going to ask right out the gate, which is, can you use Create Studio offline? Now, before I answer this question, I want to say two things. One being that this is the demo version of Create Studio. Create Studio has not been released to the public yet, and it will be released on May 12, 2020. But even then, new features are going to be coming out, new templates are going to be added, yada, yada, yada. So this may change. This is not set in stone. I hope, in fact, it does change. And in fact, I am going to email the developers and recommend that this be one of the changes they add to the program. But currently, when my internet goes out, Create Studio goes out completely as well. It shows it as offline. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick example of that. This is the, you know, the main home screen where you can choose your projects, your templates, whatever. I'm gonna go into one of these projects, new project four, and what I'm gonna do is shut off my internet. So give me just one second. Wi-Fi is off. I can't do anything on Create Studio now. It's saying, please connect to the internet. I can't save, I can't export, import, I can't edit features that don't involve the internet. Like, I lose complete access. This is really my least favorite feature about Create Studio. I wish that there was some form of an offline mode available. I've looked through their documentation online and their support um, tutorials and things that they are beginning to post. Again, we're in demo phase. The product isn't even open to the public yet. So all of this stuff hasn't been fully built out. But from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like there is going to be a difference in the final product when it comes to being able to use it offline, meaning you're going to have to be connected to the internet. And if you aren't, it's going to disconnect you and you might not be able to save your project. So the big lesson here is that, yeah, this sucks. Wish that it could have an offline mode. But in the meantime, let me turn my Wi-Fi back on so I can show you this. In the meantime, the number one thing I recommend you do when you first start a project is go over here onto the right hand side into advanced settings. You click it. The very first option is auto save. And right now it's off. I like to set autosave to every two minutes because worst case scenario, if I lose two minutes of work, that's okay. If I lose two hours of work, I'm going to slam my laptop closed and leave the room and not touch the video editor for a couple of days. So just set this up for yourself. Do yourself the favor. Really cut like out any chance of you losing the work you're putting in and set it to every two minutes, every one minute even. It doesn't slow down the process of editing. It's just helpful. And then I just hit save, close that up, and it's good to go. And so now if we do go into offline mode, I know that when I do get internet, I can still pull up my project and it'll be where I last left it. 